This fall, we're revamping our style, okay? With warm, earthy tones of the season. And in today's video, I have literally found, you know that dark brown color that has been trending all over the place with the buttercream blonde highlights mixed into it? Well, this wig is that color that just screams confidence and just elevates my style. The hair details and links to this wig are all in the description box, all thanks to RPG Show Hair, who kindly sent me their wig to review for you guys today. Now, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and check out my wig series here on my channel simply by going over to my playlist and clicking on my This Is A Wig series. My name is Jasmine and I hope you guys enjoy this video. All right, so this is the wig. Now, she is a little bit frizzy because I did so much B-roll. It's not because she came like that. She did not. She came like super pretty but i wanted to get tons of like close-ups for you guys so i did a lot of b-roll and that's what ended up happening but i am going to show you guys a little trick that is going to get rid of all this frizz within a second so make sure to stay all the way to the end of this video to see that little trick it's amazing but for all of my girlies who love all the details this wig does have a pre-plucked hairline bleach knots transparent swiss lace and it's a glueless wig so i won't be using any glue today and i will leave my cap size and all the details in the description below and so really quick i wanted to show you guys all the goodies that came in the box that came with the wig this box i can't even explain it enough it's like luxurious dense it's such a beautiful box and it stands out compared to all my other ones honestly and they sent me over so many new wig items that i've never tried before like the silicone tape and the flyaway tamer stick which i've never tried before but i know that these things are going viral so i wanted to try it out and show you guys how it works all right so let's get started we're going to start off with the silicone tape now rpg show wigs i find are natural looking like i feel like their hairline looks so good as is but this helps with the grids on your lace and so if you're just starting out with wigs and you feel a little bit insecure whenever you're walking out the door and you just want to make sure that your wig looks as natural as possible as we all want this is going to just give you a little bit more of a relief of okay my hairline looks like it actually has a scalp underneath and you're not gonna have to wear wig caps and so i'm just gonna stick this on the lace of the wig and i don't bring it all the way to the front of the wig because it will show if you do i actually could have just went a little bit further back honestly but i didn't and i should have and i could have also cut the tape um in half i did not need to use that much onto this lace and if you guys get these things cut them in half save your money save your coin and start using these on multiple wigs and so i'm just going to use this silicone wig cap to hold my hair back and pop on my wig and guys this wig is 20 inches long she is so beautiful and stunning but she does have very tight curls and i'm going to show you guys how to brush out your curls properly to get an effortless look what i'm going to do now is i'm going to cut the lace now for the lace i have something fun for you guys that i'm going to try and i am shaking <laughs> just thinking about trying this because it is so new and i've never done it before but basically you know those wear and go wigs where it has those waves into the lace where it's a pre-cut lace i'm going to use scissors like that they did have scissors but it was like not the wavy ones it was they had the scissors that was like kind of these triangle shaped cuts that was good for fabric and that's not what i wanted i wanted those waves now i regret not getting the one for fabric because it is lace and i should probably get scissors that are good for lace and fabrics but what i got was these crafty little wave scissors and i'm going to use these to cut this lace and see what happens and i'm going to go pretty far down just to see what it does and then if it doesn't work out then i'm going to go in with my normal scissors well, we're going to try this today <laughs> i was so excited about it okay what we're going to do is i'm going to actually what i will do is i will go in first make three cuts i always do this just to make the ease like the cutting easier maybe what i'll do is i'll go in and make another cut right into the middle and i should be cutting this off of me but let's just do it anyway let's just try it so i'm going to go in with these crafts like uh, scissors and see what it does. This is such a nice wig. I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> okay. Did it work? I think it did. It does the waves. It does it. But I'm so scared to keep going. So now that I'm looking back at this footage, like the lace, yes, the scissors did work. Okay, it works. It kind of did 
these zigzag kind of things but honestly i don't know if it would have looked as good if it wasn't swiss lace if you don't know what swiss lace is it's lace that melts into your skin and it's really hard to mess it up if you're a beginner you could be like the worst person ever to cut lace and this wig this lace is going to look like it's melted into your skin so was the scissors good or is it just this lace that makes the scissors look good i have no idea but it did work it cut it, it gave me some struggles and so would i use these scissors again probably not but do i want to try those fabric scissors the zigzag ones yes i do all right so now it's time for me to show you guys how i brush out these curls to make it look super effortless first i'm going to section my hair starting with the bottom and gently go in and start combing them down if you go straight to the root you're gonna lose your volume and so you just really want to make sure that you're focusing on the ends and so what took me 29 years to learn when it came to curls is that you actually have to go in with a wide tooth comb to brush out your curls to get that beautiful wave beachy look and not just like any brush that you find my adhd okay got me so impatient when i do my hair i literally just take any brush that i find around me and i just go in and i'm just like so excited for the results that i just like don't care and i hope for the best and i just go in and mess it all up but do not do this do not be like me use the right comb and that is going to be the wide tooth comb it makes all of the difference you guys can see how luxurious these waves look now so to eliminate the frizz and flyaways this is what you guys have been waiting for um i found out this little secret and it's been, it's probably not a secret to anybody just to me um i'm learning about wigs and i'm learning about hair and i'm i'm new to this so this was new to me you can go in with a finishing oil i've always stayed away from oils i felt like it made my hair look greasy but I doesn't I, it's the first time that i actually learned how to use it and so what you want to do i actually made a mistake with the wig and i went directly and sprayed it onto the wig i did it with my own hair and it looked really good but with the wig i felt like it kind of weighed it down and it made it look a little bit greasy looking so what i did was i warmed it up between my hands and then gently went through the hair and that looked so much better it gave like a beautiful shine that i wanted so i'm just getting my hair in the exact position that i want before before I go in with some hairspray and I'm going to go in with a hot comb and I like to do that just to kind of like lift the roots of my hair and I did not use the hairspray on the waves though okay I just did this onto the roots to give like a little bit of a lift you can go in with some hairspray I'm gonna leave a tip right here that uh, I wish I would have known as well but when it comes to the curls do not be afraid to go really in there and brush out these curls you won't lose the curl okay I brushed this hair so much during this video and it just looked better and better every single time I brushed it out with this comb and it just doesn't lose the curl. It looks beautiful. It looks stunning every single time I went through. So do not be afraid to keep brushing to get the look that you want. And so right now my hair is looking so good but before i was done i really wanted to try the flyaway tamer it's going viral on tiktok to use these sticks instead of gels and hairsprays to slick back your flyaways and i was so excited to try it because i'm sick of my hair looking crusty and this stick is supposed to be like the perfect solution but as soon as i seen that shine i got so scared and backed out because i didn't want to ruin this review looking like i had greasy hair so i just stopped it ended up being fine okay guys it ended up being fine in the end but i just got so scared and so i'm going to give it another go but next time i heard of this little trick where you use a board brush and you comb it through and it helps not put so much product on the hair so i will try that in another video so this is the final result and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned a little something with me and if you guys have any suggestions on how to apply a wig better how to take care of your hair like anything let me know all of your tips in the comment section i am a beginner okay and i need the help just like <laughs> you guys are watching this to learn a little something i need you guys to help me like <laughs> me out look at me stuttering okay i need your help as well till next time my loves bye